Live Different Podcast listeners, it is Matt Wilson coming to you with episode four in a series that I'm doing about my personal evolution, traveling the world, and what I learned. Now, you can get the previous episodes, of course, on iTunes or Stitcher or SoundCloud, or any of that fun stuff. Uh, or you can go to under30experiences.com slash blog, click the Live Different Podcast, where you will find all the past episodes, including these four. And each of these episodes come with an article. I love to write. I love to learn things, pay it forward to other people. And uh, that's exactly what I'm doing with this series. So if you want to find the full article, you can do so. I'm also syndicating this to The Huffington Post, Medium.com, somewhere else that I can't remember, LinkedIn. Anyway, if you search Matt Wilson TV out there, Matt Wilson TV, you'll find it. So get ready for an episode about what I learned surfing in Damarindo, Costa Rica. And even if you have no interest in surfing, the, uh, the article and this podcast it, are really going to be about learning new skills, right? They're going to be about doing something challenging, what you learned. Uh, doing something physically challenging and doing something mentally challenging and what you can do in conjunction with the planet where you are going to find numerous health benefits, numerous mental benefits, numerous uh, things that you can learn by doing stuff like this. Learn about yourself, learn about the world. That's what we promote at Under 30 Experiences, our travel company for young people ages 21 to 35. And uh, this is the stuff that I've been able to learn over the past five years, since 2012, traveling and making these discoveries, taking a deep dive into lots of different things. So let's get into it. Uh, The article starts out, of course, with a description of what I, what I was thinking when I took off for Costa Rica. So you can leave the last, you can read the last few articles, which talk about uh, nature, which talk about my first couple trips, which talk about minimalism, which talk about becoming a digital nomad, designing your life. Uh, But this one in particular may sound cliche about getting out of your comfort zone, something that we talk about so much on the Live Different podcast, but it's so damn important. So I'm going to keep hammering it home in different ways because there are a million different ways that you can get out of your comfort zone. For example, just standing in front of a camera, that actually is is out of my comfort zone. You know, it is something that's challenging for me. Uh, recording the podcast. If I never recorded this, but when I started this podcast two and a half years ago, yeah, it was challenging. Uh, and so continually doing things, putting your writing out there, putting your articles out there, Again, completely challenging. Last night, I took a boxing class that was over my head. Guess what? By the end of the class, I was able to throw a combination set of 30 punches without any instruction from from my coach. So these are the types of things that I'm always telling people are so important to do and I practice this stuff. So getting out of your comfort zone is so important because the more you get out of your comfort zone, the more you say yes uh, to things that challenge you, to things that scare you, the easier that becomes. So as you evolve as a human, when you keep scaling up, when you keep getting to the next level, that's great because it's going to be easier and easier for you to do things that you've never done before that you want to accomplish. So that's the theme. Uh, So the story goes throughout all of my stuff in New York, which was 
critical for me. Got rid of just the junk. I went down to the bare minimums of my backpack and it was time to see some shit. I wanted to go out and travel the world. I had a taste of what that was like in Iceland, but I got invited uh, to Costa Rica by a friend who ran a business down there. And I said, hell yeah, let's do this. Um, so I got there and we're in the eco capital of the world. 5% of all the world's biodiversity lives in Costa Rica. Uh, again, this was July or August 2012. Fast forward five years, <laughs> I'm still living there. Uh, I happen to be in Austin today where Under 30 Experiences headquarters is, but um, this is, Costa Rica is an amazing place. It's a place where I call home. But my first time there, did I break out my bird watching hat and my, my bucket hat and my bird watching pants? No, I went to go surf. So I went to the most gringo town there is, Tamarindo, uh, which I have not been back to since 2012. Just as a side note, it's a little too crazy, a little too much partying, a little too much... Uh, aggressive surfers, etc. But uh, my goal was to learn a new skill. That keeps you mentally fresh. That keeps you forming actually new uh, connections in your brain through a concept called neuroplasticity, where, okay, there are all these neural pathways in your brain and you need to exercise them. You need to try new things mentally in order to uh, continue to grow and in order to continue to stay sharp in order to continue to make yourself smarter uh, as a human because I want to see an upward slope I want to see an upward evolution in myself and not uh, you know peak out at the age of 30 and then it's all downhill after that uh, so I went to Costa Rica I learned how to surf, but it was not easy. Um, yeah, it was not easy at all. So a couple things. Uh, one thing is that it is physically challenging. Um, so that's very important to, to note, right? So it's physically challenging and the waves are fucking huge there. So trying to get out, uh, even to the wave sometimes, right? Past the, past the white, past the, where the wave breaks, very difficult. So, you know, you would just paddle out there and get hammered on sometimes by these waves, just get completely thrashed, uh, lungs full of water, you know, all the stuff that you think in, in pretty hardcore surfing. I mean, that's what it is. And that was, well, I had surfed maybe a dozen times or something like that, but uh, it was tough. So I went out and tried to do something again that I was not comfortable doing, but something that was going to, at the same time, give me a really good workout and, uh, and scare me a little bit. So that's my advice for you guys. If you guys are looking to go and get out of your your comfort zone is, like I said, pick up boxing, pick up uh, anything where you have to do something mentally and physically at the same time, and it scares you a little bit. You don't have to go surfing. I don't care what you do, but get out there and, and try something new. Uh, I can't recommend it any it, anymore. So, um, you know, going through this a little bit more, <laughs> One of the things that I really wanted to do as well is do something in conjunction with the planet. I really think that people who surf have a greater understanding for nature because they're in it all the time. Now, I mentioned this in my previous podcast episode about how many great health benefits there are just getting in the ocean I can list off a couple of them, uh, which I think are very important to reiterate, uh, but getting out there in the sun. I don't, again, I mentioned this before, but I don't wear sunscreen. I cover up if I'm starting to get burned, but I don't rub chemicals into my skin because I want actual 
vitamin D produced in my body from the sun. Uh, I get negative ions when I go to the beach. So when these huge waves crash all the time, that uh, generates like this kind of mist or it's almost microscopic, even smaller than the mist. And when that, uh, when that salt water reacts with the air, that creates a certain charge in your body uh, or a certain charge in the air that as you take this in through your skin, uh, it's extremely beneficial for you. Now, you get great nutrients from the salt water. Everybody says it's really good for your skin. Uh, that's very important. I think it's a very good source of magnesium. Don't quote me on that, but I'm pretty sure it is. Again, it's great to absorb these electrons in addition from these ions um, from the sea. And, you know, it's a great conductor of electricity. So you're literally positively charging yourself. So geeky science aside, I really think it's important to do something that brings you closer to nature and helps you disconnect. So surfing for me is another way where I get out there in the middle of the ocean and I'm able to not have to check my phone because guess what? It's not with me. I don't have a phone when I'm out there. Uh, and so that's something that's really important to me. And when you're physically and mentally challenged, you are sucked into the moment. You are completely present in that moment. And I talk about this a lot with traveling, how important it is when you are being over, your senses are being overwhelmed by new sights, by new sounds, by new feel, by new touch by a new taste, right? You're there because it's something new. It's stimulation for your brain. Now, when you paddle out and you're waiting for a wave and you're out there, of course, your mind might be wandering a little bit. You might say, oh yeah, I had to check that email. But at that, at that moment that you're trying to get up on that wave, there's only one thing to think about, right? And that's standing up. You are not gonna be thinking about that you're not going to think about anything else. So I find that extremely uh, meditative. And I think that's so important to be able to find activities where you can disconnect from our busy uh, 21st century lives. And you know, again, gain a deeper respect for the planet. Um, you know, surfing, right, can be my gateway to nature again it doesn't have to be yours but when you really dive down the rabbit hole uh, about what you're doing when you're surfing you know I, I believe that there is a certain spiritual aspect to having this conjunction with the planet as well where you're able just to see you're able to zoom out right which is what I really try to do during my yoga practice or during my meditation is disconnect and you zoom out and when you're sitting there and you think about it right i think about if you're within your body right and you're looking at yourself on google earth and then all of a sudden you just zoom out zoom out keep clicking keep clip keep clicking all of a sudden you see that you're just a little fucking speck in the middle of the ocean so that to me is is pretty incredible and then when you zoom back in and you see your little body there in this massive ocean you realize that these waves have to come up and break in a certain way so that you can literally get on top of the earth and ride it so when you describe it like that and then you see that you know you're sitting there waiting for the earth to move so that you can ride it you get to see the bigger picture and to me that's the point right the point is to disconnect from all that shit out there uh, 
all the notifications and advertising and all this stuff and decide, okay, look, I'm going to try to see the bigger picture and I'm not going to get sucked in into what the rest of the world is is so worried about all the time. And so when you see that, um, I, I think that's just so incredibly important. And then you can click, 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 Google Earth, zoom out, and then you get to see, right, the planet. And you get to see that the tides, which as a surfer, you need to go and check to find out, uh, you know, what what tide is the best for you to go and and uh, paddle out to your certain surf spot, right? And you realize that that's all affected by the rotation of the earth and the seasons and the moon. And you can really go down a deep dive into like uh, what the, uh, how in conjunction you have to be with the universe, right? To go and paddle out at a certain time to see these waves at just the right time with the, just the right current with just the right wind and you're you're studying the global uh, meteorology meteorological fuck uh, meteorological pattern and uh, yeah you can really go down the rabbit hole on that so maybe I sound crazy I couldn't even say meteorology but um, hey look I am just trying to give people a little bit better perspective that really help me detach from stress, detach from anxiety, detach from comparing myself to other people, detach from the go, go, go of life, detach from that chatter inside my mind that told me, oh, I should be doing this, I should be doing that. No, when you just go out and try to discover things for yourself and listen to yourself and see what comes up and follow that, that's an amazing thing. I can't, I can't speak any more highly about it. I don't think I have to really go on here for too much longer about this topic. You can read the article on under30experiences.com slash blog. But again, I think it's very important to go out and learn new skills, right? Exercise your body, exercise your brain, exercise that muscle that says, I'm going to go out and challenge myself because challenging yourself will get easier and easier. It will become a habit to go out and do things. You will say yes next time someone says, hey, do you want to hike the Inca Trail like I did this summer? Hell yeah, let's do it. Uh, do you want to go to the Rainbow Mountains of Peru and get to 16,000 feet above sea level? That's the highest I've ever been in my life. Hell yeah, let's do it. Um, and sure, right? There might have been a point of that where I was totally winded, totally gassed, felt like I wanted to puke. But that's great. Because guess what? That makes you stronger as a person. So zoom out of your life. Try to see the bigger picture. That will help you, hopefully, as it has helped me, not get so caught up in the petty bullshit of uh, what's going on around you. So thank you guys. Um, again, I, I'm very grateful for the opportunity to be able to speak for with you guys today uh, you can check out more episodes of the live different podcast on itunes of course and anytime you guys want to reach out to me reach out i would love to hear your feedback on this episode matt at under 30 experiences.com either myself or my virtual assistant hannah who's awesome will get back to you and make sure that I keep creating content that you guys like. I appreciate it. Thanks for uh, diving into what could be a little bit of an esoteric subject with me. And uh, yeah, go explore, have fun, get outdoors. See ya.